We're calling Louisville Metro Council's decision last night to ban no knock warrants in honor of Breonna Taylor, meaningful progress toward police accountability. Yet some want even stricter action to be taken next. Focus investigative reporter Paula Vassan has more on the impact of Breonna's law. When the police is able to invade your privacy, it puts everyone in danger. 18 year old Savion Briggs has been protesting for more than two weeks now. Since a young age, you know, the police is not looked at as a friend in the community. He says um, growing up in West Louisville, he feared police. Protest. They say that they're here to serve and protect, but you don't look at them in the same way. He calls yesterday's unanimous vote by Louisville City Council to ban no-knock warrants a step toward a better relationship with police and justice for Breonna Taylor. In March, she was shot to death in her own home as police were executing a no-knock warrant. I'm proud that it was passed. In addition to outlawing the use of no-knock warrants for Louisville Metro Police Department officers, the law sets guidelines for how search warrants are executed, requiring officers wait at least 15 seconds before entering, after knocking and announcing their presence. And it requires active body cameras when warrants are served. There's always ways to improve upon it. Kate Miller, advocacy director with the American Civil Liberties Union of Kentucky, also wants to see stricter penalties for officers who fail to turn on their body cameras. I think you'll see movement like that across the country. Bill there Hollander is one of 26 of Louisville Metro Council state. members to unanimously pass Brianna's law. The same day, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul introduced a federal bill to ban no-knock warrants. Despite progress, Hollander says his work is far from law. over. But we also need investment in our disadvantaged neighborhoods. For three hours this afternoon, he says he and others from the community are brainstorming ways to create an independent civilian review board, learning from policies used in cities around the country, like Portland, Oregon. That will, for the first time, have really meaningful, sustainable civilian oversight of police. He's also calling for more information from law enforcement. We don't have very good data on uh, what happened in the community with no-knock warrants. An LMPD spokesperson tells us no-knock warrants represent a small percent of the total warrants they serve every year, but they wouldn't confirm exact numbers. In response to Brianna's law, LMPD says they support the council's decision and they're committed to changes that support community relations. For Focus, I'm Paula Vassan.